Hello my beauty besties, welcome back. Today I'm showing you step by step how to achieve this glamorous makeup look which is perfect for a Christmas or holiday party. I'm first going in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And I really like this primer because it helps to not only smooth out the area, but it gets a little tacky and it helps my foundation to last longer to grip to this primer. So I usually wait about 30 seconds for this primer to dry down and get tacky for the foundation. I'm gonna be using this Believe Beauty Foundation. You can get this at Dollar General. It amazes me that they can sell this for $5.50 just because the packaging is so luxe. It comes in a glass bottle and it has a nice pump. I just do two pumps of that on the back of my hand and I just use my other finger to kind of spread that out to give myself an even distribution of this foundation. And then I'm just using my dampened Wet n Wild makeup sponge to blend this foundation onto the skin. And I really like the coverage on this foundation. It has a good medium coverage and it looks really natural on the skin. If you don't have a Dollar General around you, some other foundations that I do enjoy from the drugstore that have a good like skin-like finish. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow is a really good one and the newer Maybelline, I think it, I have it over there. It's the Maybelline Superstay um, Skin Tint. That's also a really good natural skin finish foundation. If you want a more matte but full coverage long lasting foundation, the Revlon Colorstay is my go-to foundation for that. So if you're not really into the more dewy natural finish glow, I would recommend Revlon Colorstay. Not only does it look really good on your skin, but it has amazing, amazing lasting power. Like that foundation will last 16 hours on me. And then I'm just taking the flat side and blending that here on my nose. My current favorite concealer has been this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And the shade that I have been using is Fair Beige. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that just right here at first. A little bit of this stuff goes a long way, so you don't need a ton of it. And it's actually better if you don't use a a lot of it or it can kind of settle into your fine lines. So I'm just going to first tap this out with my finger. And then I'm just going to go back with my makeup sponge and blend that out. But I really like this concealer because it has great coverage. It's very full coverage but at the same time, it looks hydrating on the under eyes and it also doesn't settle in my fine lines if I set it with a powder. And I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute like what powder I've been using to set my under eyes. Then to set my under eyes, I'm just using the e.l.f. HD powder. And this is in the translucent, trans, I cannot speak. <laughs> and this is in the translucent shade. So I'm just using like a little fluffy brush. This is the Real Technique setting brush. And just taking a little bit of that powder, not too much and lightly pressing that onto the skin. It's like a fine line with setting powders underneath your eyes. It's like if you apply too much, it can have the opposite effect and really dry everything out and make you look more wrinkly. But if you don't use any, sometimes the concealer can crease and get into your fine lines. So just a little bit just dusted there. For setting powders for my face, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is my Holy Grail setting powder. I'm trying to figure out what I do with my makeup brushes. And I just get a little bit of this powder on this flat e.l.f. brush. And I'm just gonna lightly press that powder onto the skin to set this foundation. I really enjoy this flat e.l.f. powder brush 
because you can just press the powder onto your skin without like swirling the powder around. Sometimes I find if I swirl powder around like that on the foundation, it can make the foundation move and not look as good. Another great product that I like to use with setting powders are these little triangle sponges. You can get these off of Amazon. Um, and I'll have all the links today down below for all the products that I'm using if you're curious about anything. But it also has the same effect like where it just presses the powder into your skin. I'm just going to go kind of more natural with my eyebrows today. And I'm using my e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I just brush it through my eyebrows. Then I just kind of use my finger to flatten the brow hairs down. And then I'm just going to let this gel set and dry a little bit before I go in with my brow pencil to fill in any gaps. But this brow gel is really effective and it's only $3 so I feel like you cannot beat it. It's not going to give you an extreme like brow lamination effect but it does hold your brows in place and look more natural than a really fluffy laminated brow. Okay now that my eyebrows have dried I'm going in with my NYX Micro Brow in Cool Ash Brown and just filling in any little sparse gaps. I had my eyebrows microbladed back in 2018, so the microblading has really faded, but it's still kind of there. So I don't really have to fill my brows in too much because they still have a little bit of tinting from when I got my eyebrows microbladed. But mostly I find that it's faded off like the bottom here, which is where I need to fill in the most. But I really like this micro brow. It works really well and is a great dupe to the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I recently picked up this eyeshadow primer from Hard Candy and I've been enjoying it so much. So this is just the long wear eyeshadow primer. I feel like this little tube is going to last me forever. There's a lot of product in here. So I just kind of put it on my eyelids like this at first with my finger. And since my eyes are a little bit deep set and I have nails on, it's kind of hard for me to get into the, all the little nooks and crannies <laughs> on my eyelid. So I just like to go in with a brush and just blend that eyeshadow primer out. But I find that this eyeshadow primer is really long wearing. It does help to intensify the eyeshadows just a little bit and it definitely keeps them from creasing. Like my eyeshadow will last all day until I take my makeup off. I've been using it now for probably about a week and I've just been enjoying it so much. While I'm waiting for that eyeshadow primer to dry down, because I like for it to dry down a little bit before I go in with my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and bronze and I'm just going to be using this e.l.f. contour palette. And I have fallen back in love with this palette. It is so good super affordable and I like how it has everything in this one palette. I did swap out one of the highlights in this for a blush because I have one of the e.l.f. blush palettes and so I just popped that out and put that in there but even if you didn't have the blush like this palette is still really good for nine dollars. And then I'm just using this Morphe R10 to blend this bronzer onto my cheekbones. And I just kind of stamp it on and slightly use just the tiniest circular motions to kind of blend. Not too much blending around, just mostly like stamping the bronzer on. My little baby hair is getting in the way. <laughs> But I love the tone of this bronzer. It's so pretty. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. And then I'm taking some more of this bronzer on my Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm just blending this along the hairline. So 
So do you guys, like, what are your holiday plans this year? Do you have very many holiday parties that you're going to? Currently, I just have one. <laughs> Josh is having a work party, um, like, the first weekend of December. And so we're going to be going to that. And I'm sure that there's going to be some other holiday parties come up that we'll be going to. But that's the only one on the books so far. But I'm looking forward to that. So I'll definitely be wearing this makeup look to that party. <laughs> and then I'm just taking a little bit more of this bronzer and just kind of blending it here on my jawline and on my neck. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette in Walking on Eggshells and the Maybelline Single Shadow in the Glow Down. This Wet n Wild Palette is such a good staple. I like to use this palette with a lot of base looks that I do. The shadows in here are just good everyday shadows. And I love how compact this little palette is. So I'm just gonna be going in with this mid-tone brown. This is the Morphe M441. And I'm just going to blend that shade here in the crease. Just using little circular motions and windshield wiper motions to blend that. Just going back in with some more to build up that color. And then with a pencil brush, I'm grabbing some more of that mid-tone brown and blending that here on the lower lash line. Just connecting it with the crease shade. Then with a small angled brush, I'm going in with this cream shade and putting that here on my brow bone. And I'm also gonna pop this in the inner corner. Like look at how much more that brightens my eye up with like the highlight shade in the inner corner in the brow bone compared to this eye over here. With a small concealer brush, I'm grabbing some of the darkest shade in this palette just a little bit of the shade. You don't need much at all. And I'm just gonna stamp it right here. Make sure you knock the excess off on that shade or you can have some fallout. And then I'm gonna get some more of that brown on the tip of this brush and just connect that here on the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking a clean blending brush, and this is the Morphe M506, and I'm just lightly blending out that shade, just pulling it up into the outer V just slightly, not too much. Just wanna darken out this outer corner. And then I'm grabbing just the smallest amount of that dark shade on the tip of this little EO5 brush and just blending that right here in the outer V. Like I'm kind of pulling it up like this and then using little circular motions to pull that over. And I hope you can see like how that's kind of creating like a really faint like little V shape right out here. This little EO5 brush is perfect if you have hooded eyes or smaller eyes. It's just so precise and allows you to be precise but also blend out the eyeshadow. Because sometimes if I use like larger blending brushes here in the outer V, it like blows the color out too far. But this little brush does not do that and you can be really precise and just slowly work with it. And then I'm just going back with that original shade that we put in the crease and just blending out the edge of that darker shadow just to soften it so it doesn't look too intense or harsh. And so like the key with getting the outer corner to not look too, like too dark is to just blend lightly and make sure that you're not using a ton of that shadow. The star of the show is this Maybelline The Glow Down Eyeshadow. I'm just packing that shade on a flat shader brush. 
and just patting that onto the eyelid. And since my eyes are kind of deep set, they're not necessarily hooded, but I kind of have to go up above my crease a little bit to kind of cut out the crease. This is kind of like a soft cut crease. And then I'm going to pat some of this gold on top of the darker shade out here just to blend that. And then I'm going to go back to the face and I'm using this blush by Essence. It's their Pure Nude. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me. Pure Nude Blush. And this is in the color Rosy Rosewood. And I might end up adding a little bit more blush depending on how the lipstick looks. I'm probably going to go ahead and do the lipstick right after this just so I can see if I need to make my blush more intense since I'm using a red lip. Well, I guess this is the second star of the show is the red lips. And could it be a holiday look without red lips? I don't know. I mean, there's definitely good holiday makeup looks out there without red lips, but this is just classic. And I have been loving these Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Inks. I just recently picked this one up in Wicked. And I find for some reason with the brighter and darker shades in these vinyl inks, they do last longer. Because I love the color Cheeky and I wear this all the time. And I used to kind of think like these weren't very long wearing because I would put this on and it would last until I would eat something. And then after I would eat something, it would wear off and I had to reapply. But these darker ones will last through eating or brighter because this really isn't dark. It's just bright. So like I said, this is in the shade Wicked. So that is that lip color. I do like to go in a couple of times and build it up. And this formula stays a little tacky on your lips. That doesn't bother me, but I just wanted to let you know in case that bothers you. I'm just gonna go back and use the highlight in this e.l.f. contour palette. This is a really nice, subtle, natural highlight. So it's not too intense and I just think it looks really nice with this makeup look. I've really been enjoying this highlight so much. Then before I do my mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and do my setting spray. I just always like to do my setting spray before I do my lashes just so it doesn't cause the mascara to smudge or my lashes to fall down. And I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. And that's just going to help tone down any powders, make your makeup look more natural and last. And I'm just using this fan to dry my face. This fan always makes me feel so extra. <laughs> it's like, boom. <laughs> and if you're curious as to where I got this fan, I got it off of Amazon. So I'll have that link down below. I'm just gonna curl up my lashes and I'm gonna apply this Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational in True Brown. This has been my favorite go-to mascara and I've just been enjoying this True Brown shade because it's a little softer and not as harsh as black. I'm just only going to be applying this to my upper lashes today. If you'd like some other holiday Christmas makeup look inspiration, I have a playlist linked here with every Christmas holiday makeup tutorial I have ever posted. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.